Sky and then into uh, TalkSport, Five Live, anyone else, uh, vocals as well. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Jack. Cheers. Uh, hi, Eliander. Can I ask something? I, I'm the interpreter. Do I do? Do I interpret after you ask the questions and you reply? We're actually. Uh, hi, okay. We're actually. We haven't actually got any um, Greek uh, media on, so we're probably just just uh, for a bit of support, just in case at the minute. Listen to you. When you need me, you let me know. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Hi, Leandro. I think that means you, you're speaking in Greek, if that's okay. No, no, no Greek for me. No. <laughs> it was a joke. Um, uh, nice to see you. I think it's week 54 of Wolves' season. I just wonder how you'd sum up the kind of mood within the players after such a long season that still has got, yeah. hopefully, a good end to it. Yeah, I think it has been very long, hasn't it? Um, with, the, with the break, of course, uh, of lockdown and self-isolation and stuff. Um, yeah, it has been a very long season. I think uh, it has been a very nice season as well. Um, I think we've we've had ups and downs. But I think more ups than downs. And um, yeah, I think it's it's a shame that um, for the last game um, with Chelsea, of course, uh, same points as Tottenham, but not going to into Europe. That's uh, that's that's quite a shame for for um, for the whole club. Um, but I think. Um, Globally, I think we can be very, very happy about the season so far, and I think um, we have to do our very best to to end it in a, in, the, in the best possible way in the, in Europe as well. It's ten days since that that game. Have you managed to have a little bit of rest? Yeah, um, we've we've had some rest. Yeah, we've had some days off as well. So um, I think it's very important to to um, load the batteries and um, to, to be 100%, even more than 100% ready for tomorrow. And um, let's hope we, we, can, we can win and go to the next stage. I think for you, it's game 56. I'm just wondering how remarkable an achievement it is that not with a huge squad, everyone is fit after so many games. Yeah, true. Um, I think that all, all the credits must go to the, to the technical staff and to the medical staff for that. Um, I think they they have been very professional in trying to keep us um, fit in the in the best way possible, and um, I think they managed really really well. So I think um, they they deserve all credits for that. And well, I know goals haven't been a problem as as a side, but but how important was Pedro's goal in Greece that gives you maybe slight advantage with the away goal? Yeah, it's a huge difference. Of course, an away goal is always um, counts double. That's what they say. Um, but yeah, it has been very important. So it's up to us to to fin to try and finish the job tomorrow, which won't be easy because it's it's a very good team. We've seen that in the in the in the first game. So um, yeah, we'll have to be we'll have to be ready. I'm just wondering. You mentioned perhaps the disappointment of not getting into Europe, and now this is kind of a, a four game mini tournament. Is is the more pressure because you could get into the Champions League by winning it, or is the more focus uh, because this is that route? Yeah, it's just. I think it's the focus on, on on the game of tomorrow. I don't think we could, we can we can look beyond that because the the first task is really to get to try and win tomorrow, which will be very difficult um, because they will be very motivated as well. Um, so yeah, I think that's just what we have to focus on for now, and then we will see what comes after that. Yeah, and no, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Could I jump in there, uh, uh, Leander? Could I just ask you um, the, the importance, really, of, of having Daniel Pedenza's insight into Olympiacos? How important has that been for you? Yeah, he knows the team very well, and um, he has spoken to us about them, the way they play, the way they their strategy. So um, it's always interesting to to have to have someone like that, and um, yeah. But it will still be up to us to. To be ready tomorrow and to do our our job, so we will have to focus on ourselves, and then um, hopefully we can get to the next stage. How much have you missed not having the Wolves supporters inside Molyneux since lockdown? A lot, because it makes such a, such a huge difference with or without them. Um, I think we, we've managed quite well um, since since lockdown, um, but obviously uh, you don't feel the support and. That's a shame, um, 
but I think um, health is always priority. So I think as long as as we need to to be to be to be safe and to stay safe, I think that's what we should do. It seems such a long time ago, doesn't it? Now since you were playing Crusaders in that first Europa League match back in July of last year, incredible to think that it's still going on and we're well into August. Yeah, it's crazy. It's been more than a year, and so it has been a very, very long season. Um, but we're 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 ready. Um, but we still want 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 to play, and uh, obviously Europa League. It's uh, it's, uh, it's always nice to play Europa League, and uh, yeah, I think we're all ready. And on a personal note, your own energy levels seem to be just as high now as they were earlier in the season, even though you've not had any break of any note. Um, to, to, to carry on maintaining those uh, those levels it speaks volumes for your own fitness. Yeah, I try. I, I just try to be ready for every game. Try to recover really well. Try to work hard on training, and I think that's what everyone is trying to do. And I think we've managed quite well with with a, quite a small squad this season. And um, yeah, as I said before, I think that's credit to to the technical and the medical staff. Um, I think they deserve all credits for that. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Hi, Leander. Hello. Leander, have you got any concerns about next season at all when you consider that this season could still go on for another few weeks and the likes of Arsenal, the likes of Spurs are going to have a big break up till next season, but you've been playing for more than a year now. Concern? Not not really, no. Um, Obviously, I don't think if there's there's already a a final decision about... um, when the league is going to start, I've, I've heard things about starting one month one month later than when we finished the game, when, when we played the last game. So I don't know. Um, I don't think we're really concerned about that. We've we've had a, we've had a break with the um, with this virus thing going on. Obviously, it's not the same as holidays. So, um, but I think we've had kind of a break. So um, I don't think we're really concerned about having to play. Uh, right away again so I think we're all we're all ready for that How much do you enjoy personally playing in this competition because you got to the quarter final stage with Anderlecht a few years ago as well Yeah uh, that was really nice I think uh, this now this year as well I think it has been a very nice journey until now and um, I just think we have to keep going and, and trying to do our, our really best tomorrow to get to the quarter finals and um, to go to Germany so, um, yeah, that would be really nice for, for, for everyone, for the, for the entire club. And in European competitions, home advantage is so key when it comes to away goals and things like that. I just wondered if there is any home advantage of playing at Molyneux without having the fans behind you. Yeah, but it's still, it's still our stadium. and We know our stadium, we know the pitch, it's our pitch, it's our ground. So that's still, that's still an advantage for us, even though the, the fans are not there. Um, that's obviously quite of a, a loss, but um, it's still our, our stadium, our ground. So I think it's up to us to try and give everything to do our very best, and then we will see what happens. And just finally, from me, Leander, only two wins from the last six matches in the league. I just wonder how confidence levels are heading into this game. I think we're, we're quite confident. I don't think. Uh, I think we, we, we've since lockdown we. We've managed quite well. I think, as I said, there, there has been there have been really good games. There have been some less good games. We've been quite unlucky uh, a couple of times as well. So I don't think there's a, a lack of confidence. Uh, I think we're we're confident enough to 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 try and and win uh, the game tomorrow. Thanks. Good luck. Leander, can I just uh, quickly ask you, um, obviously you get a lot of advice uh, and guidance on fitness um, from all the staff there, but especially during the lockdown period and as it's got going again, how much of the responsibility was personally for each player and uh, how much were you left to sort of manage yourselves or are you left to do that a bit anyway? Yeah, true. Um, in the end, you have to do it. And um that's being that's that's what being professional means, I think, um, because you, you could have stayed home and just do nothing and then come back with with uh, a lot of weight more. But I I don't think um, anyone did that here. So um, I think we've all been, been been very professional and been trying to work as much as possible at home 
which is not always easy, but um, yeah, you have you have to do it because it's 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 our it's our job, right? So um, I think we we would manage that quite well. They're obviously extremely good at it because we can see as how well the team has kept going, even in last season. I mean, that was hard enough. This season's been been something else uh, completely. But the team is managed very well. There are so few injuries. Um, are they doing a great many different things to other clubs you've experienced, um, or are they just better at it? Um, well, from from what I can tell here is that um, both the technical and the medical staff are um, extremely professional, um, um, maniac about um, details, uh, about recovery, about um, being ready mentally for the games as well. And I think um, that's really, really um, a huge difference. It makes a huge difference because in football, uh, very often um, the details make the difference. And um, I think they're really, really professional. And um, yeah, that's re that's really good for us. So it's as much the mental freshness side of it as the physical fitness. Yeah, I think it's both are, are, are really important. Um, it's not only important to be ready physically, but in the head you have to be ready in the head as well and uh, it's been a very long season so it, it's, it's not easy to be to be focused all the time which is which is very hard sometimes but uh, we just try to maintain the focus and uh, i think the fact of playing europa league should be enough to be to be really to be really motivated and be ready absolutely thank you anyone else from the broadcast want to ask any questions yeah, Leander, if I could ask you, um, obviously it's um, it's just nine days since the, your last played. Physically, have you had time to refresh? Do you feel like you've got out of the system, you know, the disappointment of the Premier League uh, and, you, and you're raring to go in this competition? Yeah, to be honest, it has been, it has been really difficult after the game. Um, when we saw that Tottenham drew and then... Um, we had this. We finished with the same points, but then there was a difference, obviously, with the goal. So that has been a huge disappointment, I think, for for a couple of days, maybe. Um, but then we knew we had to get back to work and back to training because there's still something really, really nice going on, and um, which is the game of tomorrow. So I think um, we, we we have been ready for a couple of days already, but um, we're, we're getting ready for tomorrow, and I think we're ready. And there is pressure, clearly, because it's the last chance of getting into European competition next season. Did you feel that pressure going into the game tomorrow? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I just think that um, we, we all went the same thing, right? It's just to, to try and win tomorrow and then get as far as possible um, in this competition which won't be easy because there's, there's, there are really a lot of very good teams still in, in competition and um, we are aware of that. But I, don't, I think we can, we can um, be, be, um, be convinced about our own qualities as well. So I, I think um, we can be very confident about it and we have to be very confident. Um, but I think we just have to take game by game and starting with tomorrow and then, then we'll see what comes after. Thanks. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. All right, guys, if that's everything for broadcast, 